In this section, three, two, or three double I, we will work on completing the revenue column of our spreadsheet. As mentioned before, we've got to make sure that the quantity and the price are both uh, calculated or multiplied to get the actual revenue for each one of those transactions. So let's go ahead and find out how we get it done. So. I know the quantity, where is the price? I can look up the price by look, looking at the price list or the pricing list that is containing my general information. Uh, the index of the service name is on the left and the retail price is on the right. So I can certainly use the VLOOKUP function in this case. So let's keep going uh, with a different example of VLOOKUP. What is a search key? In this case, we are looking for a product or a service name, right? Where is the range? Well, the range is contained in our general information sheet, starting with uh, that range that goes from E4 to G12. Notice that the range doesn't have to go all the way to the left, but my search uh, key has to match column number one of that um, formula. So the formula is asking us for what is the index or what is the column index of the value to be returned where the first column in range is number one. So which column contains the information that we want? Well, we want the retail price. So if we count the number of columns from left to right, this is number one, two, and three. So that column should be three. And all of these names are not sorted. So the services are not sorted in alphabetical order. So we want to make sure that we put in false. All right. So then that's going to give me, right, just the revenue, I'm sorry, The at this point, I'm just getting the price for the service, uh, for the overnight service of flat envelopes. Uh, to get the revenue, I would just have to multiply that times the quantity, right? So I multiply that times G2 in this case, and that should give me the revenue for that transaction. If I want to copy that transaction, I want to make sure that these uh, that the range is always, always anchored so it doesn't move down. And I can just copy paste all the way down and I am done with my revenue, right? So I wanna make sure that it's referencing the same location and it's switching to small box and that makes sense. Everything's changing based on that.